Hey neighbors, welcome to another video. Today, um, I usually don't really do much uh, deck profiles, but I got asked a couple times uh, what my deck profile is of the uh, Genesis Astro Power decks that I often play on my Twitch streams on Remote Fight Mondays. So if you're ever in the neighborhood and you want to come and uh, take a quick look at what we do when we stream on Mondays, uh, Remote Fights is where it's at. It's usually when you have a camera and you kind of play against each other uh, via the internet or via Zoom. It's a very cool and very fun experience. Hopefully we get to see you there. All right, so let's get it started. Um, I kind of like playing Asher Poets and Standard. I'm not really primarily a Standard player. Uh, so when I wanted to pick up a deck and I thought, well, you know, I kind of want to play something fun. And I just picked up Asher Poets because it looked pretty fun to me. It's, you know, it's kind of, it has a bit of a gimmick. <laughs> it's not super consistent, but I have a lot of fun playing it. Uh, even if I do mold sometimes if I don't get the right cards what I need to the most important thing about this deck as it currently is at the moment being released uh, or having most of the support up until Asher Astro Force which was extra boosters at 13 uh, not too long ago and is gonna be getting support in VPT 12 in JP around uh, November and we're going to be getting that support in December. So not too long from now, we're going to be getting some updated support for Asher Poets, but I kind of wanted to show the iteration of the build that I currently am playing so you guys can also do it too. All right, cool. So we play the uh, any really Genesis, <laughs> any new Genesis starter, but I kind of like using Pan of New Style since it's, uh, it's on theme with the Asher Poets. Uh, run him, of course, as your starter. Uh, I'll start with the triggers, I'll go to the units, and we'll talk about the units in a little bit. So I run a mixture, I think, of seven crits, I feel. I think I run like about, yeah, seven crits and uh, five draws. And of course, four heals. There we go. There we go. And of course, my uh, my draws that I tend to use are the draw PGs, and of course, the one of uh, regular talisman 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 angel. <laughs> and I run five of this, so I run five draws instead of six, uh, because I do want to still keep up the offensive pressure if I do go into Valkyrian, and but I do want to get uh, you know get in a situation where a bit of hand advantage couldn't hurt any. If you do hit the draw, you hit it. If you don't, you don't, you know, but it's okay. Um, then you go off to the grade twos. I run, I think, nine or ten grade twos at the moment. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I think I run about just ten. All right. I'm going to sort these out properly for you guys. As you can tell, I'm not really... <laughs> I don't really uh, do deck profiles that much. I run, I'll put in the other one. I run four copy of Mitski. Uh, she's kind of blast one, so blast one. You uh, draw a card and you get a force marker, which is very important. You give that to the Vanguard Circle, which allows you to get into uh, your, uh, astral, your, your astral plane activations a whole lot faster. Then we play two, uh, we play three Prometheus. Uh, he's a very good unit to allow you to kind of check your top deck, put it like a, a grade two or higher into your soul that allows you to get the higher count uh, uh, towards your five in soul for your uh, your Astral Poet. So then you can activate your Astral Plane a lot faster or more consistently at least. Uh, I could see myself kicking him out to play maybe some more copies of the bow user, but I, I feel that the fact that you can take a look at your top deck and you can actually choose what triggers goes to the top before you go into or you after you use your Valkyrian, it's kind of nifty because you can kind of set up your Valkyrian, use the skill, uh, call this after so then you get to stop your, uh, stack your top deck and you get to take a look and see, well, okay, well, there's a trigger on top, then maybe I attack my Vanguard first or I attack my Valkyrian. You kind of you kind of dictate the pace of the game yourself and you control what you see on your top deck. So it's kind of like the old revelation mechanic, but you know, kind of kind of new style. And I played uh, two copies of Phenemius because you do get an issue that you see, um, I'll show you the rest of the deck as well, is that you do tend to use some kind of blast every now and again. And oftentimes your opponent can also damage starve you. So running extra copies of him, it, I, I don't feel it's necessary right now. 
and especially when we didn't be getting new support i don't even know if we're gonna still even be running this card anymore um for now it's been working pretty okay for me uh, if i see him it's okay if i don't see him it's also okay as well it's like oh uh, i guess he's more of a win more card i guess that's what i'm <laughs> that's what i'm trying to allude at in any sense uh, then I play four copies of Origin Deity of Heavenly Light Uranus. So he is the best grade three from the Asher Four set. You could also run a Stryos Dragon as well if you wanted to, but uh, <laughs> he's uh, he's really 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 good at the moment since you don't really need that much force markers or have to force yourself to play very wonky, wonky and very conditional cards to get the same effects that you need. Uh, he allows you to restand your Valkyrian, which was one of the coolest wordings about him as well, is because he can target himself to restand your Valkyrian, because it also chooses uh, any Asha poets you control, any two you control, so you can target himself to restand anything else, to restand your uh, your deities, which is awesome. So move on to the rest of the great threes that I play. And then I play four copies of. Uh, uh, Gleaming Lord Uranus from the trial deck. I run four copies of him over Astrayo since Astrayo doesn't have a rearguard ability. Uh, Gleaming Lord does gives you an extra force marker for two soul. He he does become a bit of an issue because <laughs> he chews through your soul a lot and oftentimes if you do not get very good soul charges in the early game or in the mid game or like the first couple of turns, uh, it becomes very awkward for you to soul charge. Uh, then. A little bit of extra consistency to the deck that we play in our grade ones. Um, well, actually, I could just reveal that I also play four copies of uh, Valkyrian. Four copies of Valkyrian. Uh, he's your main beater, your main go to. He is the reason that you play the deck. I mean, I guess you could play it for the long leg, daddy long leg uh, Gleaming Lord over there, but <laughs> that's entirely up to you. Uh, let's see. Then for our grade ones, we play 12 grade ones. Four copies of Deputized Bear, four copies of DK, and then four copies of Atlas. Uh, these are more or less your core units. The Deputized Bear allows you to search for your uh, Valkyrian a lot faster, a bit more consistently. Um, he can also, if you want to, you can also choose not to get the third Force Marker yet to put a card into your soul, so then you can activate your Astral Plane after you put the Force Marker as the last target that you needed or something like that. So you can kind of choose to minus yourself rather than to just plus initially uh, after you get your three markers and stuff. So you can kind of choose to set up your soul however you want to. Uh, I like, I really like uh, Atlas or um, DK as your first ride target. They're both really, 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 really good. Um, so I like them a lot. They're very good to play. Uh, he is kind of last one. You get a force marker if you control Astro Poet, and you get to draw a card, which is uh, bonkers. I feel. <laughs> so since we're only running eight Astro Poets, I, I guess you can say why you not run ten? So then DK becomes a bit more consistent. Um, oftentimes when you're going second as well, you can also choose to Soul Charge a Quick Shield because you put a card into your soul. But since Quick Shields are pseudo cards, they're not actual cards. They're actually removed from the game. They get, you know, deleted, technically speaking. But you already paid a condition and a cost, so you can resolve the effect, uh, which still makes them very good. And oftentimes, you can also choose to put in your grade twos or whatever units that you don't need, or dead cards in your hand, or dead grade threes. Oftentimes, a lot of grade threes in the deck is not really dead because you kind of want to keep a lot of them to keep your Valkyrian active. Um, but that's currently the the iteration that I play in the TCG version of the deck. Hopefully, you like it. We're going to be moving on very quickly towards the uh, changes I probably make, suggestions I can give, and I think maybe like the overall price of the deck, I guess, <laughs> and what you can expect in the future. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Welcome back. This is the second part of the video where I'll be talking about the prices of the cards you could probably uh, be expecting uh, to pay for if you want to try to get into this deck. And some of the more core cards or core things you're probably going to hold on to if you already own this deck and things you could probably look towards to the future. So first thing first, uh, you, if you don't have this core or the deck core already, you're probably going to want to get the Shimon Nita Trial Deck. This is currently sold out on TCG Player, probably sold out in a, different, a lot of different locations, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Hopefully you can pick up a couple copies you're going to need because they're very important. Uh, some of these trial decks nowadays have actually added in cool card now 
can actually have perfect cards in them. So you're probably going to want to pick up a couple copies of the trial deck. Because I think they only gave a couple copies of the grade threes you're going to need. So like the Gleaming Lord, you're going to only need two Gleaming Lords. Because you're going to be playing a ratio of four, four, and two Gleaming Lords. So four Origin Deity, uh, four copies of uh, Aeosinus. Aeosinus, I, I can never, ever pronounce that card correct. But the new VR from the VPT-12 set that's coming down the pipeline in uh, relative future. And of course, you're going to want to hold on to the... Uh, origin deities that you probably might have or you might want to get these because having three force markers and getting your astral plane active with very little investment is going to be very essential to this deck being consistent um, right now it's sitting around 17 bucks in between I think 17 to 20 bucks depending on how much uh, how much copies you're gonna probably still need so it's gonna fetch you a pretty penny it's a very good investment for the future of the clan that you probably want to play and invest in all right, and then there's also the grade one DK of the Just Path. Uh, he's also very essential since you're playing a heavy grade three setup, uh, being up the Soul Charge. Maybe one of your your other grade threes you probably don't need, or like an extra Origin Deity or something like that. You get to search it, you know, the other Cosmic Dragon or a Glamy Lord, so you get some free Force Marker activations, which is going to be pretty important. Uh, he sadly enough is going to be a bit on a pricey uh, on a pricey side. Uh, sitting at about you know 20 bucks in between 10 to 20 bucks hopefully you get a very good deal at your local card dealer or your local game store that probably sells singles that's going to be very important uh, so right now i think that's kind of it really <laughs> uh the trial deck is going to have pgs for you or you can get the pgs from the new set that's coming on the pipeline relatively soon uh in the future in their future actually not so soon but uh hopefully this has been helpful to you don't forget to like like because it's free don't forget to share it because that's also super free and subscribe to the channel if you like the content that i'm putting out and want to see more of it thank you all for watching thank you all for stopping by be awesome stay awesome this has been jj from dg mr rogers till next time